Say you want to make a neutral spurt or a vodka, but you're not sure how to do a reflux run. Let me go show you how I do it. Hey everyone, the Stella Krelling here, one of your favorite home and hobby distillers. So today I'm doing a high reflux run on the grain fermentation that we did a while ago. Go check out this video of how I did it. I did work it out. We came to 21 bricks on the fermentation. I measured it. I got zero bricks before I started straining it out. From that wash, I got 46 liters of product inside my boiler. And if I work it out, it's about a 12.3% ABV. So we'll check how it goes today and see how much product we can collect. So the aim for the high reflux run is I've got bubble trays on every T section, glass chamber as well, all the way up till my reflux right on the top. You can also see I'm hitting the ceiling with my still at the moment. I've got nine trays in. And your reflux is, or let's say, your reflux run is to try and force all your vapor up. Have your reflux condenser or your defragonator right at the top, condensing whatever is getting to the top and then pushing it back down. And that continuous vapor coming out, getting it condensed and getting pushed down the still, gives you that reflux that keeps on going. And as you leave it to stabilize out, you will actually start to see that all your higher and more lighter liquids or more volatile liquids will start to go to the top and start to condense on the trays on top and your heavier products will start to push down and goes even down to all the way to the boiler. And if you leave it to stabilize out, by the time you're ready to open your, or let's say my reflux at the moment is 100% open. So cooling water is flowing through it all the way. So it's trying to condense whatever comes there on top and pushes it out. If you start to close your reflux condenser now and you're letting less heat get to the top and the vapors will start to push through. If you leave it enough time to stabilize out, you're gonna have a very high proof alcohol coming out right at the top. Now I'm aiming today for anything in the low 90s to 94%, a 92.5% that will be excellent. I've pushed it to 94% so maybe we'll get it again today. I'm taking it a bit easy. So that's my setup for today. We'll get it going. Temperatures now, I've got 54 degrees on the boiler and obviously still just 22 degrees on top. That's the normal ambient temperature we have today. So I'm gonna let it go up. I've got my heating element set at 85% power output. Yet again, it's complex where I am. Power output, I cannot push it to the four kilowatts of the element itself. So at 85% power, I've got about 3.5 kilowatts of power. That's more than enough. I'm pushing it up. As soon as I feel that I've got my temperature in my boiler up to say that 65, 70 degrees Celsius, I will reduce on the heat at the bottom. If I want to, when I do my reflux runs and I let it to stabilize out, I don't want it to run too hot, you will get a flooding, a possibility of flooding in the trays. Maybe we'll do that, we'll leave it a bit of hot and you guys can see actually how flooding looks. Or when I got it stabilized out, I will do a flooding just to see how it looks. But yes, aim is not to flood at all actually. But we'll run it and then we'll start to collect. I'm going to collect it at the back, my measuring cylinder again, and then transfer it into my glass bottles. I have got more bottles if that's not enough, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So for now, letting it heating up some more and then we'll see if the action starts. All right, I've turned the heating element down now to 60% power. And as you can see, there's some good activity happening. Starting from the reflux condenser right at the top, you can see all the vapors being turned to liquid and getting pushed back down. Every tray has got some activities. I'm very happy with it. Interesting enough, you can see at your bottom trays, it almost looks like the windows are getting fogged up. That's just your water or your heavier liquids that's starting to bubble at the bottom that makes your windows fog up. You're having crystal clear windows right at the top, then you mean and you know it's definitely alcohol that's starting to form or starting to accumulate on that tray especially. Here you can still see a bit of fog and hopefully it will get better as it starts to stabilize out more. Now I will stabilize it out for at least a half an hour. Leave it as it is. 
Reflux is 100% open, so I've got 100% water or vapor getting pushed back down or getting condensed and getting pushed back down. Leave it a half an hour to stabilize out. After half an hour, I will then start to close on my reflux condenser and see how much or at what point of the closing reflux condenser we will have to start to push out the liquid. All right, 30 minutes is up for stabilizing. And I can definitely see a change, especially the bottom side glasses. I see that the, that fogginess has disappeared, so it's actually also starting to become very clear. And I'm quite happy. Temperatures have stayed about 84.6, 84.8 degrees at the bottom boiler. And on top, it's, it went up slightly, but it might just be some incondensable gases that pass through. But it's still at 29 degrees, so it's definitely no vapors that went through ready to be collected here at the back. So for a reflux run, when you have 100% reflux open and you're pushing all the vapor down or getting vapor condensed and pushing it back down, you tend to now start to close on your reflux condenser on the cooling water side. Now, it's best to say close it by one turn, give it say a few minutes to stabilize out and see if you're getting any liquid carry over. You also especially see your, your top temperature that's just above your reflux condenser. If that temperature starts to rise, you will also know, yes, vapors are starting to pass through. Then give it some time. You want to take it easy just to get the hang of it. See what you collect. I will also be collecting some heads before I start capturing the rest of my product. From past experience, I know to where I need to turn my reflux condenser or how much I need to close it. So I'm going to close it to that point and then wait for the first drips to come out, get the heads collected. But yes, rather close it by one turn, give it a time to settle out, close it by another turn. Especially if you're doing it the first time, you don't want to haste and maybe push too much liquid in the beginning. Rather close it slowly because you want that high alcohol proof coming out. You don't want to maybe mess it up your whole time that you've left it to stabilize out. Now you close your reflux condenser fully and then it's just a normal high purity still. So no, I'm going to close it so I know where it's supposed to be and then we'll start to collect the heads. Alright, things are looking good. I got the first trips out, I measured my heads out, I've got about 80 milliliters of heads that I'm going to discard and it has started to collect now my main product, Parrot is closed. I'm actually at a 95% ABV I will definitely check the temperature as well of the water. I can still feel the condenser is nice and cool. But yes, I'm quite satisfied with that. 95. I've got a top temperature of 70.1 degrees Celsius right at the top, just above the reflux condenser. So this is now my run. I'm going to let it pan out through the rest of the day. Collect as much as I can at the high ABV. As the day progresses, I might sometimes start to increase the heat, especially if I see that the boiler itself, it will tend to get hotter as the day progresses. The reason why you also always will see that your boiler will tend to get hotter as your run concludes throughout the day is that you're starting to have lesser alcohol in your boiler and starting to have more water. And as that more water starts to take the place or let's say the alcohol starts to take disappear or starts to go up in, into your tower, into turning into vapor, the more water you got in there, you need more heat to get it boiling. But if you keep your heat source constant, you will see that your heat will start to increase slowly throughout the day. And that's also what we're going to go for. I'm going to definitely keep on looking at my bottom temperature, my boiler temperature today. That one I want to see that it will increase while my top temperature, my reflux right at the top, stays constant. If my top temperature stays constant, then I know I'm going to have a constant percentage ABV coming at, out of the parrot. So I'm going to let it run. I'll maybe pop in a bit later again, but this is my high reflux run, how I do it, how my setup is, and how I get my product out. What an eventful day. So yes, I played around, did my high reflux run. I actually got six liters out and on an average of 94% alcohol, and I'm very happy with that. It shows that my still is running very effectively. All nine plates I'm doing is excellent job. I also worked out, I got about a 99% recovery rate from whatever was in the boiler till what I get out. That's still very hot. <laughs> so I got about a 99% recovery, and I'm very happy with that. 
I stopped it when it was here by 90% ABV because I didn't want to say start to contaminate it. I wanted to keep it as pure as I could. I also played around with a bit of flooding to see how it works and how to subside it. Be on the lookout for a video when that one comes out, but that will be much, much later. This is it for today. Thank you very much for viewing. I appreciate it very much. And as always, guys, remember to be awesome, to be kind, and be yourself. Cheers.